ओके सो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द सॉल्यूशन कोन या टुडे वी आर डूइंग अ लिटिल डिफरेंट थिंग वी आर शोइंग द अपग्रेडेड लिनोवो ए सेवन थाउजेंड स्मार्टफोन टू द मार्श मेलो सो बेसिकली मार्श मेलो इज द एंड्रॉइड latest revision and here you can see android 6.0 and here they are kept the game same as lollipop but one problem or a trick i don't know what to call this thing but that thing is here like if i yeah it doesn't get out so you can see you can do whatever i don't know what the thing is so let's get back to the marshmallow update look a small look to the changes happen to the lino a7000 so here you can see the ram is 2gb and the storage is 8gb and you can see the android is upgraded to 6.0 so when you have a lollipop you will see a 1.3gb upgrade shown in this section system update uh, you can download it from this thing and it will be automatically upgraded or you can also manually do this thing uh, i will place the link to <coughs> upgrade package to marshmallow package of this mobile in a description of this video uh, so you can download that package from there and after that you just need to do one thing uh, backup your entire uh, thing apps and data <coughs> from lollipop and then put that zip file which is downloaded from that <coughs> link given in the description in a sd card in a sd card or a internal device storage uh, its size is uh, approximately 1 gb so you need to place it in a internal storage or a sd card uh, wherever is, uh, you can uh, then switch off your mobile okay then uh, hold the power button and both volume buttons at the same time and switch on the mobile then after a little bit vibration just leave those buttons and you will see the recovery mode of Sam of Lenovo A7000 Uh, which is the default recovery mode so it is it is touch enable now then you can click on update from sd card uh, i think this is the second option over there then it will automatically detect the up, uh, update dot zip yeah i forgot to mention that thing once you download the package from android from lino server uh it is named like something else and bigger so you need to just rename it by update dot zip <clears throat> then place it in a internal storage or sd card okay then after clicking on update from sd card in a recovery mode uh, that recovery mode will automatically detect that update dot zip file from wherever you have stored <coughs> it then it will ask you for a confirmation then click on yes then it will take approximately 15 to 20 minutes to upgrade to marshmallow uh, according to me i mean i have did i have done that so any of the data i mean my data was there after upgrade to marshmallow 
so my backup was like call so that's it uh, now you will have a android marshmallow and here you can see the changes happen to the marshmallow after lollipop so first let's see this setting because it is the most important thing in a mobile so <clears throat> so you can see the upper section is same now in the personal section they have they have introduced google in which the google setting is there okay now in notification setting setting there is one extra option called status bar icons you can see so you can untick and tick which you want to be shown in the notification area like you can see here this area okay now one more option is the notification bar icons here you can see first let's see the notification yeah you can see the notification ui is changed little bit mm, you can also go in that section by clicking here or by setting so you can see there are several more options which can be added over here uh, but there is no space so you need to sacrifice one for one two for two like that and you cannot move this I mean you can move but you cannot I think you can okay so no problem uh, you can see one two three four five six seven eight are extra and um, you need to keep it in a um, not civil manner so doesn't matter okay all right so let's see another new thing uh, in future everything is same and here over here okay so new option is there storage and usb so here you can see uh, Lenovo 7000 uh, internal memory is 8 GB and from which we only get 4 or 5 GB to use and as per our apps downloads it it always overflow so so one uh, one extremely useful option is there which is known as format as an internal uh, this option only enables to the external SD card like I have a 16 GB Sandis SD card and I got that option and I did that uh, my SD card got format and now my internal memory is 22 GB yeah I mean that 8 GB and my 16 GB uh, it's got got added and <clears throat> so now the internal storage on the SD card become one becomes one now uh, here I can show you in a file browser here only one option is their internal storage but previously there were two options like internal storage and SD card now SD card is gone because I have formatted that SD card as an internal storage so now I have only internal storage yeah that is great uh, you got lots of memory to install android application from play store or anywhere else so that is the best option you get and here you can see the usage of your ram and yeah here you can see this much is enough now let's see file browser it is same like previous one just the drawer is gone and the enter options are here only you can see the storage details
and in storage there is one setting area where okay that drawer options are here now all right so you can see let's see yeah you can see this this is a android uh yeah ui <coughs> theme i mean it is given by marshmallow lino only you can click on preference here you can choose the launcher uh by default it is vibe ui yeah you you must be familiar with this thing everything is on home every app okay but i pretty much like that option android one because you get this option to browse through your apps and here only home things you can also see the animation has been changed now let's see the drawer okay you can search your apps and recently used apps are shown here yeah which is pretty good because we don't need to find it, them again so which is pretty good yeah you can also install third party launchers no problem in this area you can see the layout has changed little bit which is pretty good now let's see its camera here uh, you can see the options they have changed it to camera quality is increased little bit i can't say but it's good now okay so i think that's it in lenovo a7000 marshmallow upgrade yeah these apps must be changed yeah a little bit but nobody uses them here you can see the you can see this is also change yeah this clean section okay one thing i am noticing after upgrading to marshmallow that ram is getting used around 1.5 gb so i think the ram ram management area they have changed something you can also see the transition in the animation in the entire mobile so let's see the yeah you can see ui has been changed you can also see the message ui has been changed yeah mm, and i think that's it games and everything are working fine i have tested uh, okay thank you for watching guys please subscribe to our channel for more videos Okay, thank you.